Hey, what's going on, guys? Goose here, man. And Pelicans news as Van Gundy, Stan Van Gundy, is out as Pelicans head coach after only one season. Not really surprising. Not really surprising at this. Um, I heard rumblings, I heard rumblings all year long about how Zion's camp, his family, you know, his uh, entourage, or you want to call it, uh, they just weren't happy with Van Gundy and uh, his. Uh, I guess his, the way he wanted to die on the play. That's just what I heard. It's what I heard um, from people I trust. But um, so so Van Gundy's out. That's re that's backtracked a little bit when he got hired. Uh, I made a video about it and I was optimistic. I said I thought this was a better hire than um, I thought this was a workout better than they did with Gentry. I really thought so, but didn't work out. Didn't work out. Uh, I still want. I still before Van Gundy was hired, I still wanted somebody uh, a little bit maybe younger. That was stress defense, and we, we just really we, we just didn't get that last year. Defense, defense was awful last year. Um, Garden three point, I mean, just, it was awful. And, and people that watched Pelicans game last year saw the same things over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, same things were repeating themselves every single game. So a, a change had to be made, even though it's one year. Sometimes, sometimes you just got to rip the band aid off. Uh, uh, I mean, it, you know, it just it. Sometimes you have to do it. I mean, it's sometimes it's better if you just move on after one season. It's happened before in, in uh, sports. Just it's just the way it is. So who the Pelic who the Pelicans are going to go after? I mean, I, I saw Jason Kidd. I don't I, mean, I don't know about that. I mean, I, I don't know. I really I really do not know who the Pelicans should get as a head coach. I say I still say. I mean, I mean, who are some, who's some of the young hot, assi hot assistants out there that's going to really be a uh, somebody that's gonna really going to Bust these guys in shape and actually make them play defense, man, and just get their basketball IQ um, uh, better because their because their basketball IQ is bad. They 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 never communicated on the court last year. Uh, you know, you see when you watch some teams, they're pointing it, you know, where to go on the spot on the floor. Pelicans don't do that. I don't know, I don't know if it's just because the players are that stupid, basketball wise, or are they just not taught that. I don't know. So I think it's maybe a combination of a little both. Sometimes, sometimes, it's, sometimes it's both. Sometimes your coaches don't uh, relay what they want to relay what they want the players to do. Sometimes the players just don't; they just can't grasp it. Uh, but uh, it's curious. I was just uh, not really not surprised about this firing uh, because it was, the clock is ticking on Zion. The clock is ticking. He has his second contract coming up in the next few years that he has to resign. If he's either going to resign with the Pelicans or not, and if if the Pelicans are not moving forward he's not signing that contract uh so the pelicans actually had to make this move this was imperative for them to make this move it's very imperative for them to make the correct hire this time you can't you, you can't strike out you can't you can't hire nobody uh when i say nobody i mean somebody like this really doesn't have any experience but i mean uh, i don't know sure I'm, I'm just trying to think of some some kids some some coaches in college that maybe uh, some head coaches in college are doing very, very well in college. I mean, that maybe would want to take the jump to the next level in the NBA. Uh, I'm going to th think about it and do some research on it. But Van Gundy out, guys. I think this is good news. I think this is a good move for the Pelicans. And, of course, it all depends upon who they hire. I mean, they could fuck it up and uh, hire somebody stupid, and we'll be back, at, we'll be back with exactly where we are right now. With a with a bad coach, and a superstar player, that's uh, might not sign his next his next uh, contract with us. So uh, I like the firing, but like I said, uh, who are they going to get to replace him? That's 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 the bigger question. Have a good one, guys. Talk to you next time.